welcome back. This is part two of starting the year right. I'm thinking through ways we can get started on the right foot because what you do in the first week is how you're going to spend the whole year. What you get started and a lot of times we have resolutions. We call them uh, new decisions, resolutions. We want to do something fresh and stuff, but we don't have a plan to succeed. We don't have a plan to ensure that we get to the other line, uh, to the end of the line. Let me suggest a couple of things here for you and for me as leaders, as shepherds, as fathers, uh, as ministers. Let's, let, let, let me put it this way. You're not going to get anything done if you don't have a deadline. If you don't set a deadline to it, you're not going to get it done. A weekly deadline, a daily deadline, a quarterly deadline. From the deadline, you go to the end product. You're saying, what do I want to accomplish? What do I want to see at the end of this? When I, what is it going to look like? From there, I move to accountability. I say, will you help me? Can I get somebody to help me on this? Can I get somebody else to do this with me so that I'm not the only one trying to do it? And the last thing and final change is the goal is character. Am I going to, is this going to grow my character? Is this going to make me more like Christ? That's where just average management skills or, or, or uh, life skills becomes character skills. It becomes godly uh, uh, fruit. You see what I'm saying? So how can we do things differently? How can we start the year right? Most importantly, have resolutions, make changes, decide new things for sure, but set a deadline, have the end product in mind, get some accountability and aim for character change. Because at the, end, at the bottom of all my problems is my character. And as I make that change, it's going to happen. May the Lord bless you as you try to do this. I, I, I want us to be charged. I want us to be you know, renewed for 2020. And we can do this together if we encourage one another. There's an email at the bottom of the screen. Uh, email me and let me know what you think about what I'm saying. Let's discuss this. Let's talk about it. And most importantly, let's pray for each other. So that 2020 is going to be a year where you and I personally feel fulfilled and faithful in our own ministry.